Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to see if I can uh, measure out some seat belts to fit the RV, um, well, the box camper. Anyway, I saw some uh, seat belts on eBay that are uh, made for RVs, and in fact they're the same brand that I have my Class B. Um, now I just need to determine the lengths. They come in, uh, I think, 60 inch, and they come in 90 inch, and 110 inch overall. And I'm going to go for either the 90 or the 110 inch. Um, so I'm going to measure this out right now and see uh, which one will be a better fit. Since the uh, female side of the uh, seat belt is uh, the part that you can't adjust, I've got to get that part right. And then the adjustable part um, is not quite as important because you can always cinch the belt up. But I need to get the female part so that it you know, hits you right about where the belt buckle goes. And... Um, that's what I'm going to do today. See if I can make this uh, this pan out good. All right. Um, the plan is I'm going to have three seat belts. One on this side, one on this side over here, and one on the back side. So I'm going to uh, mount it to some steel that it is either on this side and one on this other side on either side and then I'm going to look for a piece of uh, oops, my glasses, um, look for a, a section of steel that runs across um, parallel to the seat here on the back side so let me show you underneath what I have to tie into on this side you can see I have these uh, steel girders that run this way on either side of the wheel well. I figured that would be the best place to tie in. Make sure I hit the uh, thickest part of steel I can or whatever is not going to move. Let me measure and uh, see where we stand on the, the length of the seat belts. Oh yeah, um, also Instead of making it run up the back side over here, I'm going to make it run up through the middle of the cushion. I'm actually going to put slots in the cushion so that the seat belts come right through where this gap is. Luckily, I have it that way all the way around. I just lucked out that it worked out that way. So let me go ahead and put the, uh, the cushion over here. I actually have light second film by. Cool. Didn't have that before. So, I'm going to use about four inches of foam, which is what this is. I may use about five, and if I have to, uh, six. So, this is what I'm going to start with, and I'll measure off of this, maybe include another inch or two um, for using thicker foam. I'm going to just have to find my tape measure. There we go. So, let's say we're sitting here like this. And what we want to do is I want the female part of the um, seat belt to end up right in my midsection here. So say we went straight down and hit a piece of metal right there. Uh, the female part would be exactly 40 inches to my waistline. Now that is, if we're not... Yeah, 40 inches would probably be... I could stretch it out if I used a, a longer seat belt, maybe. But it's probably better to have it closer in. The 110-inch um, are 44 inches. The 90-inch uh, the seat belts, the female section is uh, 40 and a half inches. So right now, 40 and a half inches works out about perfect for the 4-inch foam. So I'm thinking that might be the way to go. The, the male side is a little bit longer since they're 90 inches and you subtract, you know, um, 40 inches from the 90 inches, you'll end up with close to uh, 50 inches for the other length of the belt, which would be on this side. Let's see what this comes out to. Yeah, that would, I think that'll work out pretty good. Of course, uh, if you're a little bit 
have a wider girth, you might want to go with the 110. If I ever put, you know, anybody larger back here, I have to think about that. I think I'm going to go with the longer belts because um, they'll still cinch up and um, it'll enable people to scoot around the seat a little bit more. With uh, the 90 inch belt length, it doesn't uh, give enough room, uh, you know, in case somebody slid over to the left or right. I think that's probably going to be the best way to go. This is not going to interfere with the sitting down, and it'll be uh, a good support for the um, tabletop that'll fold down here. Or the supports, anyway. And I want to make sure I don't come by and hit my leg on there. Ooh. Might have to slant that more. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Remember, build it, don't buy it.